When you're going to add or replace images on your website, one of the first things you need to know is what size, what dimensions to make that image so that it doesn't negatively affect the layout of your website. And that's what we're going to talk about right now. Okay, so this is just a demo site that I have installed here. And you can see there's background image here. Um, you scroll down, there's a couple images here. Oops, I right clicked. A couple images here. And then even further down, there's a, a, a grid of images here. Now, if you're going to be placing, replacing images on your site, you want to make sure that you are replacing them with images that are the right dimensions. And the best way to do that is to know what dimensions the ones that are already on there are. So I'm going to show you three ways to do that. One, the easiest way is to simply go over the image, right click on it, and then open the image in a new tab. And when you do that, that new tab opens up and sometimes it'll even show you, like up here it even shows me the, the dimensions. Um, but if it doesn't show you that, I would literally just take this image, I'd right click and I'd save this image. I'm just going to throw it in, um, in, uh, yeah, in the images here. And then you would open that up and you would see the file size. So I can go into here, I can open this up, and it was a skier. I'd scroll over there, and I would know that though this is 379 pixels by 218. If I'm going to replace this image with another one, those are the dimensions I'd want to use. Another way to do it, and sometimes this is uh, even quicker, is you right click, and I'm using Chrome to do this. So this is how I do it in Chrome. Um, and I would just right click and I'd hit inspect. And when I do that, you're going to see, as I scroll over little elements down here in this code, you can see the image is showing up. It's showing the file size of the image here, the dimensions. Um, in fact, down here, it's showing you two dimensions. It's the dimension of the original and then uh, the dimension how it got placed. In, in any case, here is the um, dimensions of the file. So again, this is 379, the intrinsic value, that's the original, by 218. Great. So again, 379 by 218, 379 by 218. And then the other way is actually just go on to your website. I'm going to do that here. I'm actually here in the website, the back end. This is the uh, website. You can see if I scroll over stuff, I can move them around and move stuff. Here's that image. I'm going to click on that image, right? There's the image over here. And every um, theme and every web editor works a little different. But if you're in WordPress, as long as you can get into the media manager, which is this area here, there's that image. I can see the file size right over here. So three ways, not the file size, the dimensions, the image size. So three ways to find the image size. And now that you know that, when you have your image that you're going to replace it with, you're going to make that image those exact dimensions so that it doesn't mess up the layout of, this, of your design. And I'll show you how to do that in the next lesson.